Now, the latest update for Gran Turismo 7 is here. I'm going to let you know absolutely everything that's coming, but also a big telltale sign that Gran Turismo have given up. I've got a lot to say on that. First, we've got the three cars, including the Garage RCR Civic. I wish it was the Garage RCZ. That would be amazing. And we've got um, the Corolla and the Ambulance are added to Brand Central, so you can buy them if you didn't follow my tips earlier, how to get them for free. And we've got new liveries, which are pointless because you just download KCR liveries, which are even better. Now we've got some new events in World Circus. I'm never going to say no to new events. That's great, including one at Dragon Trail. We've got a museum entry, which literally no one cares about. And we've got a spot. I, I actually don't even know what a spot is, and I've been playing this game for like almost two years. We've got some new cafe menu books, which is great. That's a single player progression. Never going to say no to new cafe books. And we've got new conversations. This is a bit Gran Turismo. Oh, there's a new... Oh my goodness, there's a car design for the Peugeot RCZ GT Line 15. That is literally my car that I drive. So I'm going to scratch that. I am actually going to go and speak to Ed Wyburn. And I recommend you do as well to learn about one of the finest cars ever produced on this planet. But other than that, Gran Turismo seem to think that people... Actually, maybe people do care. Maybe people... Because I care about... Okay, I need to get myself sorted about that. We've got um, some more conversations here, including the Gordini, which is very cool. That car was added in an update a little while ago. And Chris is going to let us know about the Honda Civic Type R. It says Jeremy about this uh, garage RCR Civic. Imagine if it was Jeremy Clarkson. Like Forza Motorsport 4. Does anyone remember that? GT Auto. We've got some new engine swaps available, which is very cool. We do love the engine swaps. That adds a lot of longevity to the game. And we've got some new brands, uh, brand decals, basically, I think probably to do with uh, the new Honda Racing thing. Other improvements and adjustments. And bear in mind, I'm going to tell you the bigger mission here on why Gran Turismo have given up. Now, we've got added a weather radar. That's what we want to see. Hopefully, that's going to be the big pop-up weather radar. They need Gran Turismo leaves so much firepower on the sidelines. Dynamic weather, Sophie. They need to start deploying it countdown that's great they've increased the price of legend cards because we're all suffering from inflation in real life so why not suffer from inflation in a damn video game as well fantastic more localization and various other issues so no big track obviously no massive update no update to vr i mean there's never been an update to vr frankly but what is the big mission i'm talking about well normally when i do these videos and i do them every time there's an update so make sure you subscribe if you're not already Gran Turismo also do a updated known issues list. I'll say, look, we're aware of this issue. We're working on it. Gran Turismo have not done that this time. There is no update to the known issues list. What does that mean? It kind of, for me, indicates that Gran Turismo are done with the game. The game is now essentially finalized. Now, I'm going to do a separate video on this that you're going to want to watch because I'm abs I absolutely tear into a lot of stuff. And, uh, you know, whether we should accept that or not accept that. And I think you're going to really enjoy it. But just to just to let you know, there is no update to the known issues. Just rate this update in the comments out of 10. And I will see you on track very, very soon.